Ronald Reagan was married two times throughout his life, with the actor and politician's first wife having been fellow Hollywood star Jane Wyman. Despite the fact that they were married for nearly the entire 1940s, their relationship was fairly tumultuous and left both of them in dire straits. Despite her burdensome separation from the future politician, Jane Wyman went on to lead a rewarding life into her twilight years, donating much of her time and energy to charitable causes before her death at age 90. Join Facts First as we take a look inside Jane Wyman's tragic split from Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan and Jane Wyman were married for a decade before Reagan became President of the United States. However, not many people know the lurid tale of how the two came into their decidedly problematic union. The two met in 1938, when Ronald Reagan was 27 and Jane Wyman was 21. Both of them were working for Warner Brothers Pictures, and neither was anywhere near the star they eventually became. Even though Jane was several years Ronald's junior, she had a good deal more experience than Ronald when it came to love. Jane was already towards the end of her second marriage when she first met Ronald, and that marriage ended soon after in an unceremonious divorce. They met as a result of being cast together in the picture Brother Rat and a Baby. While Ronald found himself fond of Jane, it was the latter who became the instigator of the relationship. It seems Jane was instantly won over by her male co-star, going so far as to refer to Ronald as the very personification of manhood. She successfully courted the future politician, but Ronald found himself feeling a bit cautious when Jane began suggesting they get married. It seemed like things were moving too fast for Ronald Reagan, but this was a setback Jane didn't have time to deal with. She decided to take matters into her own hands with a suicide plot. When Jane realized Ronald Reagan was hesitant to enter into marriage with her, she threatened to kill herself. It was a threat that didn't take long for Jane to make good on. When Ronald didn't immediately bow to her threat, she swallowed a bottle of pills and left a note for the actor saying goodbye. She was quickly taken to the hospital but refused to let Ronald into her room. Knowing what he had to do, he gave in to Jane's marriage demands. They tied the knot in 1940 and remained married until 49. Throughout the 40s, they had three children together, but their relationship was never very healthy. Despite Jane's extreme passion for Ronald prior to tying the knot, it didn't take long for her to become bored after their union was made official. Much of her dissatisfaction came from the fact that a majority of Ronald's energy went into his work as president of the Screen Actors Guild. Professional jealousy also got in the way, as Ronald became jealous of his wife when she won an Academy Award for her performance in the 1948 film Johnny Belinda. Although their marriage wasn't perfect, the two still tried to make things work. They ended up having three kids, though one of those children tragically died during infancy after being born prematurely. This was Christine, who was born and passed away in 1947. They had two other children, Maureen and Michael. Maureen was born in 1941, and the celebrity couple adopted son Michael a few years later. Wyman initiated the pair's divorce. According to Jane, she was simply starved for attention. The couple went on to divorce in 1949. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about Jane Wyman and Ronald Reagan. Besides professional jealousy and the fact they didn't spend much time together, there were numerous other factors that led to the 1949 divorce of Hollywood stars Ronald Reagan and Jane Wyman. For one thing, Jane apparently couldn't stand how much Ronald talked. Even according to Ronald's closest friends, the future politician had a penchant for never shutting up, constantly sharing a wealth of knowledge with anyone willing to listen. Following his divorce from Wyman in 1949, Reagan went on to marry Nancy Davis, another fellow actress. She went on to become first lady of the U.S. Ronald and Nancy were a decidedly better fit than Ronald and Jane, and the two stayed married until Ronald's death in 2004. But that doesn't mean Ronald and Nancy's marriage was perfect. While starting a new family with Nancy, he tried to maintain his relationship with Maureen and Michael, but the latter pair found themselves essentially pushed aside when Ronald and Nancy's first child was born. This was Patty Reagan, born in 1952. Patty was apparently a fairly difficult child, and Maureen and Michael grew to resent the young girl a great deal. But the truth of the matter is Ronald wasn't spending much more time with Patty than he was with his two previous surviving children from his marriage to Jane. Instead, he was continuing to spend most of his time focusing on his own personal endeavors, whether that was horseback riding or his transition to the arena of politics. 
By the time he became president in 1981, Patty Reagan was nearly in her 30s. At that point, Ronald didn't have an especially positive relationship with any of his children but he still managed to convince them to show up to the inauguration and pose for a picture with him for show. Patty largely disagreed with her father's politics to the point where she could hardly be around him. While Maureen and Michael were constantly fluctuating between desperation and anger as a result of a continued lack of attention from their father. Ronald apparently didn't have a very good relationship with his own parents. He grew up poor, allegedly subsisting during his early years off of a strange gruel consisting of hamburger meat and oatmeal, which is all his parents could afford to feed him. His father was an alcoholic, and Ronald recalled before his death a memory of finding his father passed out on the floor of the living room and having to drag him to the bed by the sleeve of his shirt when he was far too young to be dealing with such things. He was engaged to his high school sweetheart, a young woman named Margaret Cleaver. Some have speculated that while Ronald and Margaret were attending school together at Eureka College in Illinois, Margaret may have become pregnant with Ronald's first child and covered the pregnancy up due to their respective families' conservatism. Margaret went missing from the school for a semester. When those who would know why have been pressed for an answer, they've suggested Margaret transfer to the University of Illinois for a semester, but there's no record of her ever having attended there. Some suggest Margaret dropped out of school for a semester, either to give birth to a child that she had conceived with high school sweetheart Ronald Reagan, or to have an abortion. If this is true, it's possible Reagan had another child no one knows about. Ronald and Margaret dated for a total of eight years before the latter decided she didn't want to continue their relationship after Ronald moved to Hollywood. Jane Wyman was born in 1917 and orphaned at age four. Her neighbors subsequently adopted her. Her breakout Hollywood role came in 1945's The Lost Weekend, and her final Hollywood role was in 1969's How to Commit Marriage. Following her retirement, she invested the majority of her remaining time and energy in her faith as well as charitable causes. She passed away in 2007 at age 90. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Ronald Reagan's first marriage came about as a result of a suicide attempt? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.